Hey yo, what's going on guys? This is Jonathan and today I'm bringing you another BMT story video and I'm talking about getting shots at BMT. So I was, I, I knew that I was going to get shots at BMT when I went. Obviously you look up a ton of BMT stuff, that's why you're on my channel. And one of the things that you do see is that you get immunizations. And before I left, I read tons of stuff about how they went away from standard shots and how they had these like compressed air type shots that shot so strong that it penetrated through the skin and that's how they did it and it was a lot faster because you walk down the line and they do it that way but I was extremely wrong <laughs> I've had my wisdom teeth removed now I just had my tonsils removed like two weeks ago and every time that I have any sort of minor type surgery like that or have to get immunizations I just get so freaked out by needles and after it's in my skin, like, I really don't mind, like, I don't mind seeing blood, I don't mind needles, but there's something about the fear of that little baby pinch once it hits you, and it just freaking twists my mind, right? So, basically, when you get to BMT, um, every flight is on a different schedule once you get to your flight, so you might get your hair cut, like, the next day that you get to BMT. You might get it the day of you get that you get to BMT, you know? So you like leave on the Monday, you get there on the Tuesday, and then that's your first official day. When I got there, I got my shots that day and I got my haircut that day. Um, now, it really just depends on the flight because there's so many flights that get there every single Tuesday, so they can't have, you know, 20 flights going to immunizations that day, right? Because that's that's just not realistic at all. So we got there, we you know, we got our heads shaved and all sorts of stuff, and you're in your civilian clothes, and basically what you do is you go into this building and they have you all sit down and they read you tons of stuff and they ask you some questions and they call off your names and they have like these certain papers and depending on your age you get specific shots for your age because sometimes you have to be 21 for a shot or 25 for a shot or 18 or whatever right so basically you're gonna get there and you're gonna have to get your blood drawn and you're gonna have to get your your first set of immunizations because yeah you get multiple shots through BMT ah so I'm pretty sure when I got my blood drawn, you basically just go sit up in these chairs and like a nurse will come up to you. Obviously you've had blood drawn before, at least I hope you have. And they took like six vials of blood and I almost passed out. I've never passed out from getting blood drawn before or anything like that, but this was my most painful experience of getting blood drawn. And it wasn't that the shot hurt initially but as the blood was coming out and she was switching the vials like it just started to hurt more and more and more and my arm was just super tensed up and then I stood up and I was just like whoa that was crazy I was not expecting you to take that much blood and um, basically they like make you lay down on the floor like with your knees up and you just have to lay there for like I mean honestly it was it felt like forever it was probably like five minutes though and then this other kid laid in front of me and at this time we had our uniforms on so like I said um, some of the clothes earlier but it just depends on the flight obviously but we had our uniforms on by then so you take off your blouse you're just in your sand to your ABUs and your boots and basically like your sleeves are rolled up and stuff because you're about to get your shots and I'm laying on the floor with my boots and boots are really heavy this kid lays right in front of me and I was laying down like super lightheaded and I didn't know he laid in front of me and I kicked him in the head super hard on accident and his head like almost cut open it was super super funny actually to be honest sorry bud but anyways after you get your blood drawn and stuff like that you get into another line um, actually you, you get into another line with like the paper that you get given and they're color coded and then once they call your color over you get into another line and they have one trainee that's dedicated to handing out these little alcohol pads and basically you get the alcohol pad and you freaking rub both of your arms and your sleeves are rolled up and then you get called into this little room where there's another line I mean it's all just one huge like snake connected but you get called into this room and they're not very forgiving my friends with their shots they 
they kind of just plow it into your arm and it seems like it's as hard as they can and they just shoot it into you and you go down, you, like you walk into the room and then you get a shot, you walk another step and then you get like two more shots at the same time at both arms because there's people on both sides and it's just like they're plowing it into your arm. They're like, they grab it, they put it in the thing, they flick it, next, flick it, next. And so you get your first shot, second shot, both of them, and then you walk and then you have your last shot. And um, I try not to cuss a lot in my YouTube videos, um, but sometimes I definitely can cuss a lot. And at BMT, you're definitely not gonna wanna cuss, but I was, I was getting my last two shots and as soon as they freaking plucked me, I was like, fuck, that hurt. And they are like, hey, Chinese, you should not be cussing. You need to drop that. We're not cussing my Air Force. And I was like, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Obviously, I didn't say it like that, but it hurt so bad. I'm a, I'm, I have a very low pain tolerance. You can make fun of me as much as you want, but it hurts so bad. So um, you put your shirt back on, and the next day, your arms are like bruising and stuff, and they're super tender. And, and then you wait, you wait like, I think we went back after three weeks. You go back and then you get like six more shots. So it was crazy. I think I got like 13 shots or 11 shots in total while I was about at BMT or something like that. So obviously I'm over exaggerating. The second time you go, you get like, I think I got four more shots or something like that, four more. I wasn't making a five right there. I was making, you know, whatever. So anyways, that's it, just a little BMT story video about getting shot. So if you're scared of needles at BMT, um, you might have a hard time, but I would just go into it with the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna face my fear. And I'm pretty sure that when you get through this, like you're gonna be perfectly fine because now when I get shots, um, like at my actual base, I had to get a flu shot last year and they're way nicer. Like they actually make it so you can't really feel it. So that was great, um, but yeah, so also another thing that you guys might have to ask is the peanut butter shot. I know you've heard about the peanut butter shot. It is the big shot that goes into your butt. It's a penicillin shot. And I was so lucky when we went there because we, they, they ran out of penicillin shots or something, but they say that to a lot of flights. So I don't know if they actually do run out, but they ended up giving us pills. And basically you take the pills throughout like all of BMT, um, every day on the same day at the same time um once per week so that was definitely way better than having to get a penicillin shot in my butt so anyways thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button and leave your ship dates down below so that i can connect with you and so that you can all connect together because it's 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 awesome when you connect with people before you go to bmt because then when you get to tech school or you actually end up in the same flight as that person. It's just, you already have a sort of friend there that you can communicate with instead of going somewhere new that you've never been and not knowing anybody because that can be kind of hard for some people. So anyways, again, thank you so much for watching and peace out.